Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ku Amira Farhana and this is my partner presenter Muhammad Akmal. And this slide is prepared to my classmate and Miss Mimi. So today we will explain to you guys about Coffer Dam. Do you know what is Coffer Dam? Coffer Dam is a temporary barrier in or around a body of water which allows the process of dewatering, diversion or damming of water within an enclosed area. The major purpose is to hold back overwhelming or inconvenient waters and create dry work environment. There are four types of coffer dam. First, a fill coffer dam, rock fill coffer dam, gravity dam, and sheet pile coffer dam. Let's start with a fill coffer dam by Akamal. Earth fill coffer dam. Earthen coffer dam are constructed at a place where the height of the water is less than 3 meters and the current velocity is low. These dam are built using the local available materials as clay, fine sand or even soil. The height of the dam is kept 1 meter more than that of max water level. Freeboard of the dam or the top of the dam is kept 1 meter so that the water doesn't enter the other side even wave arise. This is theoretical diagram to put an idea how the earth field dam look like. The slope is usually given but 1 to 1 or 1 to 2. The slope of the water is pitched with rubber stone so the water action doesn't score the embankment. Now, let's go to the process how the earth field coffer dam is made. First of all, the worker will pit dredge to remove the unwatered and soft soil for coffer dam base. The excavator will excavate the soil and put on the back of the truck. Next, the worker will use the excavator to fill the coffer dam base with the suitable soil. After that, they will create a slope on both sides with a suitable pitch. Therefore, the worker will flatten the medium earth soil type to act as a strong body a long way on top of coffer dam. As a precaution step, the worker will fill the slope of the water side with a rubber stone to avoid the water from overflow the coffer dam. At the final stage, this is how the earth fills coffer dam looks like. Now, let's go to the section of pros and cons about earth fills coffer dam. Advantages of earth fills coffer dam. Number one, availability of earth material. Number two, easy handling on earth. Number three, strong foundation condition. And the last one, saving cost of construction. Disadvantages of earth fills comfort dam. Number one, non availability of the material at or near the dam site. Number two, greater maintenance costs compared to a good concrete dam. And number three, earthen dams are unsuitable for spillways. To conclude an explanation about earth fields comfort dam, it is a simple method, easy access, eco-friendly material, but it has a limit high. Next, we go to rock fill cover dam. These dams are very pervious to prevent water from seeping and impervious membrane of soil is provided in the dam. The slope on the water side is pitched so as to protect them from the wave action. The height of the dam is can be up to 3 meter. The slope can be maintained at 1, 1.5 to 1, 125. The slope on the water side is pitched so as to protect them from wave action. How to construct rock fill cover dam? The first one is excavation. Firstly, carry out immediately after dewatering part of the river valley where the foundation for the dam will be laid. The dewatering process involves diverting a river through a tunnel which constructs at each side of the valley. Next is foundation treatment. After completing work on dewatering river, a cover dam will be constructed to act as a barrier to the river as well as creating a dry space for the dam curtain grouting. The water retaining membrane will be filled with concrete which must limit the quantity of underground seepage. 
When this completed around the area, the foundation for the day may commence. The overburdens are removed first from the riverbed, and the foundation continue until the sound rock where the dam will sit is reached. Next is spillway construction. The spillway will be constructed at the same time with the dam. The structure will help to control the release of flow from the dam into a downstream area. The spillway will release flood to prevent the overtopping or damage to the dam. At last, when the rock fill dam is completed, the diversion tunnel will be permanently closed to enable the river flow back to the dam. Let's move to advantage and disadvantage section. The advantages is the material is reusable and rock is easy to work with while it is high resistant in characteristic. The disadvantage is low permeability because of the water still can go through in between the rock. Creep or gravity confidem. In deep waters where it is difficult to penetrate the guide pies or sheet pass into the hard bed below, Greek confidem is used. In this type of construction, the sheet pies are supported by a series of wooden creeps. A creep is a framework of horizontal timbers installed in alternate courses to form pockets which can be filled with earth or stones. The length and breadth of each creep depend upon the depth of water and the current of flow. This is theoretical diagram to put an idea how the creek confident looks like. The space inside the creek is then filled with stone or any other material so as to make it stable against sliding and overturning. Timber or steel sheet piles are then driven around the creek. Now, let's go to the process how the creep confidem is made. Both sides of the side plan will be excavated and then the water will be blocked by horizontal timber confidem. This timber is supported with wooden or rock filled creep to strengthen the frame. When the workplace is dry, the basement of gravity dam will be constructed. After the timber creep frame being pushed downward until reach water bed flow, the construction for gravity dam will be continued from basement to upper level. When the construction for gravity dam reach stop level, the wooden or rock fill creep frame will be pulled out to make the water flow again. As the result, the gravity dam is now well functioned and the water flow well thanks to the good method of wooden or rock fill creep frame in the earlier stage. Next, we go to the section about advantages and disadvantages of creep confidem. Advantage number one, allow excavation in poor environment. Number two, provide a safe environment to work. Number three, contractors typically have design responsibility. Number 4. Pile sheet easily installed and removed. Meanwhile, for material can be reused for other projects. For disadvantages, special equipment is required and relatively expensive, very time consuming, and when in flowing water, log jams may occur, creating an added stress on the structure. In overall, to conclude Creek Comfort M, it is suitable for deep water, very expensive matter, and has safe working area, yet the material is long lasting. Last but not least, Sheet Pile Comfort Dam. Sheet Pile Comfort Dam is used to provide a temporary and permanent wall in the construction industry. Sheet piling is used as excavation support and for soil retention. It creates a border which keeps the soil back away from the structure. Hmm, how to construct sheet pile cover them? Let me explain the basic construction step. First one is arrange the sheet in section to check if the pile will interlock correctly. Then hammer the first sheet to the defined depth as per the design. 
and use a vibratory hammer for installation. Third, use impact hammer if the soil is hard or dense. Then, use hydraulic to push the sheet into place. After the sheet is placed, drive the second sheet so that it interlock with the first one. Repeat the process, use connector element to maintain the integrity of the wall. Okay, let's move to advantages and disadvantages. Advantage number one is it is light in the way, making it easy to lift and handle. The second one is it is recyclable and reusable. The third one is the pile length and design are easily adaptable. Number four is joint are designed to withstand the high pressure required to drive them into place. And the last one it requires on a little maintenance above and underwater. Disadvantages number one. If the soil is rocky or has large boulders, it becomes difficult to install sheets into it. Number two, if vibrator hammer are used to install sheet, this can cause neighborhood disturbance. Hmm. Number three, most of the sheet are used temporarily structure. After the project is complete, the sheet are removed, which can be costly and high, very very high cost. In conclusion, cofferdams can be classified into many types depending on the depth, soil condition, and velocity in the water level and type of material used. To wrap all the explanations, all the comfort dam must be suitable based on the chosen site to make sure this temporary structure managed to hold long lasting in its place. That's all from Fahana and I, Akma. Thank you.